In this video, I'm going to talk about a challenge that many engineers struggle with during the PE exam, nerves. How can you try to overcome nervousness for the exam as it truly can cripple you? That's what I'd like to cover in this video in response to many questions that I've received on this topic. But before I do that, let me remind you that most successful engineers will tell you that getting their PE license was the biggest career growth driver that they've experienced. Whether it was due to a promotion, salary increase, or just more exciting projects to work on, you want to get your PE license. However, preparing for the PE exam can be a real challenge, but through this and other videos on this channel, you will learn everything you need to know about the licensing process, including PE exam preparation. So please be sure to subscribe to my channel here as my weekly videos will help you pass the PE exam. And if you leave questions in the comments below, I will answer them in future videos. As I said, this video was created in response to a comment on a previous video. So, how can you try to remain calm in such a high pressure environment like the PE exam? It all comes down to practice and preparation. People often react very differently in pressure filled situations as opposed to situations where there is no pressure and it's very laid back. If you spend all of your study time just doing problems randomly without timing yourself, without putting pressure on yourself, it's not going to help you when you get to the exam and you're under that pressure. You're under that clock. We often see this with athletes, where some athletes are amazing during regular season games. Their statistics are off the charts. However, when they get into the playoffs, where the stakes are much higher, they often don't produce. They can't handle the pressure. So in order to handle the pressure of the PE exam, you must practice a lot, but you must do so in a way that replicates exam type situations. Have a colleague, friend, or spouse time you and serve as an accountability partner to kind of watch over your shoulder and make sure that you are doing the practice problems in a time setting with all of your materials, just as if you were sitting in the actual exam. That is the best and probably the only way to help alleviate some of the nerves on the exam day. Prepare the way you will have to execute on that day. Another example that I can give you is public speaking, which engineers are terrified of doing. And quite frankly, most people are terrified of public speaking. There's an organization called Toastmasters International, which is a great organization that helps people become more effective speakers. I was a member myself when I was learning how to speak in public because I was awful before I joined Toastmasters. In Toastmasters, their philosophy is very simple. They believe in the process of desensitization. What that means is that they feel that if you get up in front of an audience time and again, eventually you're going to get more comfortable and less nervous. And their proven track record shows that this works. They've helped a lot of people become really good public speakers, including myself. The same is true in exam taking situations. The more you do it, the more comfortable you become and the less nervous and anxious you will be. Now, I'm not recommending that you just take the PE exam the first time to get comfortable in pressure filled situations, although it may come down to that if you're truly a nervous and anxious person. However, I do believe that you can work hard to recreate a similar exam atmosphere to help you become less nervous and more focused on exam day because nervousness can be a challenge and no matter how many problems you do or how technically savvy you may be, you still have to pay attention to your nerves because they can come back to cripple your exam taking efforts unless you work hard to alleviate them. And I hope that my recommendations in this video will help you do just that. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will solve some more PE exam practice problems and answer other questions from our subscribers. Past the PE exam videos will publish weekly, so please be sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss something that could make a substantial difference in your exam result. And please, Ask questions and leave comments below this video and I will respond to you and let me know if there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover or a specific question that you need answered. Pass the PE exam, we'll have you covered. 
I'll see you next week on Pass the PE Exam.